Hey everybody, I'm back with another update of what's happening here in Southern Utah. And today I'm back here on Bluff Street near downtown St. George. From Commerce Point here at the south end all the way to Sunset Corner at the north end, we've got a lot going on throughout this entire corridor. Uh, looking forward to showing you everything that's going on, so let's get started. First up, we'll start at Commerce Point right here off exit six where we've got a few projects in the works. Uh, the first one is Longhorn Steakhouse that a lot of people have been anticipating. Looks like construction is nearing completion. Hoping to have some info on the opening soon. And as soon as I have it, I'll make sure to post it. Next, we've got Park City Blind and Design, which is new to town, and they're the newest tenant in the multi-tenant building here at Commerce Point. Uh, they just recently opened as well, and I know they're excited to be open. Then stay in the same parking lot, we've got the big 23,000 square foot office building uh, that looks to be nearing completion as well here in the next couple months. Uh, so far, I know that Cottonwood Title is going in there, but don't have confirmation just yet on the other spaces. Uh, this lo building looks beautiful, and I know they're excited to get this one done. And lastly, in Commerce Point, we've got a new restaurant going in the Swig building that I was hoping to be able to say who it is, but still can't. So I'm hoping to have that within the next couple weeks as I know they're working inside to get that going. And I know a lot of people are gonna be excited for this one. Now heading north, just next door, we've got the Quick Quiet Car Wash that took over for St. George Car Wash. Signs are up, looks like construction's making way. Don't have a time frame just yet, but I would anticipate that opening here pretty soon. Now just further up the street from here in the old Dairy Queen building, a lot of people have been hearing about Fizz uh, plans going in here. Uh, they don't have any set plans just yet, no time frame, uh, but I do know that it's something that is in their plans and I'll update more as I hear more. From here, we've got another restaurant that opened in the last couple of months, Rusty Crab Daddy, that a lot of people have been really enjoying. A seafood restaurant that's really uh, unique to, to town, uh, and I know they've been excited to be open. And right behind here in the retail complex where Tom's Deli is, we've got St. George Rental Management that just opened up their office here uh, that manages properties all over uh, Washington County. Uh, I know they're excited to have their office done as well. Then just crossing the street over into the Red Lion Hotel, I said in my last video that the Green Iguana had shut down and they're moving over to the shops at Zion. There is a new restaurant taking over here. It's called Marisco's Ensenada. It's a Mexican seafood restaurant. Don't have a time frame just yet, but I would anticipate them being open here pretty soon as well. Now heading across the street, we'll go over into the Kmart complex, which is one of the most rumored, asked about, anticipated developments in all of Southern Utah. Uh, there's rumors flying everywhere of the different possibilities of stores, restaurants, and whatnot going in here. I will say that I don't have any info just yet. I'm hoping it, uh, to be in the next couple of months, around April or May, uh, to have some more solid information. Uh, so at this point, nothing confirmed, but hoping to have some soon. Now just headed up the street a little more, crossing 700 South, we've got a new building in the works. Uh, right across the street from Gaia's Garden Cafe. This is for a new mortuary. I don't have the name of it just yet, uh, but things have gone vertical, and I'm hoping to have some more info soon. Now heading a little bit further up the road, we've got a new food truck park in the works right next to Neater's across Bluff Street from Ace Hardware. Uh, Big Lud's Barbecue has been there for a little bit and then Chuck's Fat Phillies just joined, which are two of the most popular food trucks that I've heard of in town. Uh, the, the talks are that there's gonna be more uh, permanent and rotating trucks that come here. I know they're really excited to build this thing out and I'm looking forward to seeing how it takes shape. And lastly, on the far north end of Bluff Street, we've got Toastique, uh, which is a new restaurant that opened last month. Uh, they've got gourmet toast, acai bowls, smoothies of all kinds. Really healthy. I know a lot of people have been enjoying it, so make sure to come check it out. And that's a wrap, guys. As you can see, a lot of good stuff happening here along Bluff Street. It's one of the main corridors that we have here in St. George, and I really love all the renovation and new things coming. For more info on what's happening here in Southern Utah, you can call me or text me 435-668-7293 or find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Instagram. Thanks guys.